So guys, I've just had three dogs manage to run in here. We've literally just finished day 11. I was just going to go try and sort out my chests, get the inventory management sorted. We've had three dogs run in here, which unfortunately I didn't get on camera. And now we have another problem. Down there. Oh my dear lord. Well, at least a bear can't fit through this. It doesn't look like it anyway. Gonna try again? But the dogs managed to jump over this. That's a problem. Come on, show me your ugly head. more than one what the hell is going on two zombie bears in the middle of the forest biome I don't think I've ever even seen a zombie bear in the forest biome Now oh, that is crazy. So, luckily that didn't happen on Horde Night, but dogs can jump over that. They only need one square. So how are we doing guys? Welcome, it's Kraken here. Seven days to die, back in Nav's game, beginning of day number 12. Now, there would have been a little clip that I'll, you've just seen from last night. I was just going to get rid of all these chests and get everything sorted out, which is what I've done. And we had two bears come out of nowhere and three dogs as well. Uh, zombie bears as well, which I've never seen in the green biome. Now, dogs can jump over this, which causes a bit of an issue. A bit of an issue. Um, I am going to look at uh, wooden bars, uh, not bars, sorry, poles, because I'm. I think that might do it. Might do it. I don't know. Let's have a let's have a little look. We'll put one up. Um, all right, we need advanced rotation. Uh, so I'm thinking something like that. Because that will show to the zombies the same as something like that. So they will see that as a whole block, which is why the base in the last series worked so well. Um, but they will hit on that as well. But we can upgrade that as far as steel. So that would actually be stronger than this here. Um, because if dogs can get through, that means probably the spider zombies might be able to get through as well but we're gonna leave that up there for the second um i've got rid of all of these which is nice so i'm keeping this one here just for just for stuff that i'm going to need all the time and i'm probably going to put stuff to sell to the trader in there because i always put it in my bike and i always forget so we've got half of the roof done we'll start work on the second half of the roof later on and we've got the chemistry station. We should have loads of gas by now. Yep. Um, and I've got all these boxes started. They're over here. You can pause this if you like. I've got all the stuff that I'm going to put into the forge. I've got my brass, my lead. These um, are brass as well. All the radiators, even the ones which you take off the wall, which is a bit strange. So I can put them into here. All the stuff that I would use over here. So I've got all my bones here to cook up ready for glue. 
and my nitrate and coal for when we start making gunpowder. Over here, I'm going to put a cement mixer, maybe two. Um, but I do need, I have got one point available, but we do need to go into advanced engineering too. Um, ideally, at the moment, I really want to be putting things into the strength tree, into this uh, sexy wrecks we can put another one into. So at the moment, we don't need cement. We can survive without cement. So if I find a schematic, I'll build the cement mixer. If not, um, we'll just carry on with cobblestone. So we've got all the stuff here. We do need to go and get a load of sand at some point. This is all my car parts. I will um, paint all of this up. And over here, I've got all my stuff that I'll be using just to make stuff in the workbench. So plant fibers, just needed somewhere to put them. Over in the living area here, we've got cooking stuff here. All the food in here. Everything that goes with that. Uh, all the health supplies going into this one. Over here, at the moment, I've got weapons and mods, which will change. Um, I'll put another, build another box and put all the mods into one, all the weapons into another. I might even have to put ammo into a, into a different one as well. I'm just whacking all that over there. And over by my sleeping bag, just got clothes. And I keep the cloth and the leather together. Um, so, yeah. We've got one of these spare at the moment. That reminds me. Nearly forgot. It was yesterday I did all of this. Um, no, not in there. Here we go. So we found the recipe for the cargo pockets, which is really useful. And we had enough of those needle and threads to build two more triple storage mods. So let's go into our character. We have one already in there but we did find these two bits now leather's not the best armor in the world but because they were level five it meant i could put the extra mod on it so just because of the extra help with that it was worth doing now the normal pockets do become obsolete now um which is a bit of a shame but i'll be able to put them on to some shorts or something like that because these actually take up two needle and threads to make these um, which is um, which is quite a bit when you only take three to make the triple storage mod. Um, so we'll put another one onto here. Oh, no, what am I doing? That one onto there. And our puffer jacket, because I'll wear the puffer jacket quite a bit. There we go. Complete. So there we go. So we've only actually got three. So basically, when we get some better boots... Or a better helmet and put another triple storage mod on we will never be encumbered right here we go every time i come into this biome we get a flying turkey right so i thought as we just had these two quests right next door to each other that we would quickly show you these so I've had these for a little while. These are the little yellow cards that you get. They give you a quest. So let's carve you up. Now, you can use your junk turret. He needs loading. Beautiful. Right, so what have we got here? We've got your nothing special, which is the utility workers. They're the ones with the little yellow hats on. And cable guy. Um... They're both the same. Definitely the cable guys, that one. Utility workers, I think that might be the same. But you're nothing special. That sounds quite dangerous. We're going to do this one first. So you can use Mr. T. So we're going to place him down. If you'd like to place anywhere. Okay. Get a baseball bat out. Make sure our gun is yeah, our gun is loaded just in case. Um, and we start it. And all it does is spawn in zombies for us so yeah this one's this one's the guy with the yellow hats so, these quests literally as soon as you go back to a trader they'll just give you a few dupes and a bit of xp it's nothing massive but obviously you get a bit of xp for killing these guys first time round and they were just a bit more on my map so talk to a trader 
That's the last bit of that quest. Right. Hello, Piggy Winkles. That reminds me, we do have to go back to that barn. Right. Now let's do this one. Might be in a place on a hill, does it? You're nothing special. That sounds really dangerous to me. Yep, screamers. Feral whites. Spiders. Feral white. Shoot him in the bloody head, will you? Right, there we go. Now, I don't think that screamer is going to call in forward. Right, that's your head gone. That's your head gone. That's a shame. Oh, will you be quiet, woman? You done? Thank you very much. Right, so both of those two, now done. So, see, I think you were next to useless in all of that. Yep, I don't think you got one shot off. Now, let's go to the trader. Come on, you turkey. Oh, tell you what, these these vultures are a pain. They're, they're a good element for the fact that you've got another threat coming from the sky. We used to have bees in the game, and they were all hornets. They were a pain because they were so small to hit. So they're better than those, but they are a pain. That reminds me... Um, I was going to put the bars above the base like you guys mentioned. Don't forget the vultures do spit now. You're not bringing like the cops. counterfeit money in here, are you? I'll be quiet. Well, right, so this is what we got for doing that uh, utility worker. 550 XP, 350 Duke. So not really anything. Really infected. Again, you don't get much. We had them. It took two seconds to do. We may as well do it. Right. Now, Steel Fire Axe level 2, we've already got a level 3. That's going to be worth quite a bit of money. Antibiotics, or herbal antibiotics. Cure infection up to 10%. We've got quite a few of the other antibiotics, so I think I'd rather the Magnum ammo. Probably just to sell. What's that? 3, 4, 5? Yeah. Because I don't, I don't use the Magnum. It takes too long to reload. Oh, we've got tier 4 quests already. Fetch 260. I'm gonna make you an offer. Ooh, you uh, business. Okay. Right. Let's see your inventory. We've got some stuff to sell you. So we've got this over here, 260 quid. We have some old money. The hunting rifle, yeah, it's a level five, and a lot of people shout at me for doing it. You know I'm a terrible shot. No need for me to have the hunting rifle. I'd rather the dukes. And we've got some silver. There we go. So we got, we're back up to 11,000 dukes. We're doing well. We did find a treasure map in the last... Um, I believe it was the last episode. So we are going to go and do that at some point. But I'm not spending 2,000 dukes on one. Right. I am buying this. Because if you know anything about me... 50% less damage of collapsing mines. I am terrible for remembering to shore up my mines. So here we are, it's the Home Depot, which has a tremendous, an absolute tremendous amount of, oh we never sold the ammo, we'll do that next time, tremendous amount of resources inside, which is good news for us, because we're going to do a load of building, and thank you by the way for the amount of comments I've got back on the bonus little episode, I just wanted be able to show that. There we go. We make another cargo mod. Cargo pocket. So in here, I'll do it off camera. I'll do it at the end. There is loads and loads of resources. Which is what we need. Some of these POIs. Now, what I might do, in fact I will do it, is we're going to go through this one twice, but I'll only show it the once. There we go, more stuff. So I'm going to go through it this first time. 
and then I can dig everything up and then I'll start the quest. In fact, no, I'll do it the other way around. I'll cut the video after we've got the we've done these three cars and then I'll go through it, get all the resources. I'm always recording like you saw the bears at the beginning of the video. So if anything special happens, you'll get to see it anyway. So I'll cut the video, we'll go through it once. And he's repairing. And then I'll get all the resources, load up the bike, and then we'll do it together. So here we go then, guys. I've made it to the end. I was going to always show you the loot like I always do. Um, I have got infected. I did take a bit of an ass kicking at one part. Here eyes are starting to get harder. Which is why I want to concentrate on the strength tree. Um, we've got an auger. Right, so we've got AP ammo, armor piercing. Uh, train your ear. In sound. Save your legs. Landmines will not detonate when you step on them. Now, if somebody else steps on them and you're stood next to them, you're still going to go kaboom. Now, we should be wearing those. Right, here we go then. I managed to clear out most of my inventory. We've got seven of these we actually found. So that's pretty good going. Um, and obviously we got that auger. So I've taken a honey. I've broken my leg. Um, I did fall off the building trying to get down in a hurry. Which is not advised by anybody. Right, let's go through this properly. Everything is restarted. Reset. And now we can go for it together. This time we got to remember to get the supplies. So dark, I didn't see you behind. Hey, Edgar. Oh, I hear something. There are axe out. Oh. Well taken, sir. Right to the face. Right. My, my chairs. Any food? Golden rot. Acid. I don't actually need any acid anymore, but um, we'll take it anyway. No super water. Ah. Right. I do love the baseball bat. Right. Now. 
This is the room that I got infected in just a minute ago. So. Sort you out. Perfect. Can't wait till we put um get our steel steel bolts in. Now the problem we have is we've got one here that we can't get to. That will not allow me to put a bolt through there. And the rest are all hidden behind, so let's make the same mistakes as last time. One at a time this time. Hello. We did have a skater punk last time. Okay, not this time. Look at the amount of cobblestone in here. So later on in the game, it's not you're not gonna need this place as much because oh, we've got a splint back. Um because you're going to be using cement so much more. But um, early on, and the great thing about cobblestone is you put it into the forge to melt down into cement anyway. So you you know, there's always, always a need. Right, this is where we got our vest top from. All these cabinets, all these desks in here. There we go. Needle and thread. Syringe. Right, we're going to scrap you, scrap you, scrap you. There we go. And we're going to use that and actually make some bandages. That will clear up our inventory just that little bit more. May as well get the leather as it's here for free. A little bit of wood as well. Scrap you, scrap you. I know there's dye we can take out of those, but to be honest, we're doing so much that. EDU top. Just what we were looking for. So, we've got two t-shirts. Needle and thread in there for a second. We're going to modify you. Take dye out. Scrap. Scrap the dye. Scrap the t-shirt. Where were we? In here. We need to take you. You in there. Modify. Take the cargo pocket out. Serious. Right, throw you on the floor a second. Uh, BDU top. So just because of the heat, heat, um, the heat resist and the cold resist on the whole, it's one of the best tops to be wearing. We need to scrap you. We don't need six nails. We've got fours. We can make our own nails. We're gonna scrap you, scrap you. I know we lose twenty five percent. There we go. Jacket, scrap. Right. Let's keep on keeping on. There's a few things I'm putting into my bike, but I have actually filled my bike up as well. More resources in here. Inventory is full, no doubt it is. Right. One old cash. We don't care about that, do we? Scrap, scrap. There we go. So yeah, when you scrap stuff, you do lose 25%. Um, but... Hey-ho. Such is life. Now, this is where we got our... We got our fun and games on. Let's see if we can do it again. Finger on R... Grab our shapes. There we go. Be a pain. Oh, 
we go. Number one. We've actually got a cop up here this time. Can't get to his head. So, took us took us three hits. I can't believe how fast he um he got his spit on though. Turn the light off. Oh, that did wake you made up though. Oh, we got Opie over there. Sounds like another cop as well. So the zombie's much harder this time round. Oh, we got another OP. So I heard the noise of another cop. Did I just imagine that? Get our bolts back. No, there is a cop somewhere. Oh no. Hawaii. An off duty cop. Right. Beautiful. Get our purse. Some old money. Coffee, we're going to drink you. We're going to eat some cat food. Get the nutrition high. We're going to use the steroid. Right, what have we got here? Junk turret. We don't need a junk turret. So I'm going to scrap you. We're going to take the 762. Yeah, you can just stay in my queue. Ooh, okay. Right. So, we've got the Duckbill mod. Good for a shotgun. That's to put metal spikes which we've already got on our item, but now we can make them. And um, some Molotovs. Right, if we throw you out. Um, paper, we've got those paper. Take the three Molotovs. Molotovs are not as good as they used to be, but I want them anyway. And then we've got pickaxe. There's another level two wrench. Okay, we're going to scrap them just to grab the iron. And what did I do? I got to put my lucky goggles on. As always, right now, we're going to be in there. That's 300, so I doubt it's going to be in there. Nope. Our supplies are here somewhere. They are flashing. There you go, they'll be in the top. And why are you wood? There we go. And we have no room. See what this game. This game at times. There we go. So here we go. Back at the trader. Let's get this supplies off me. As it is taking up a valuable infantry uh, slot. Level 3 wrench. Or a recipe to make antibiotics. Damn, this is all I can spare. Hmm. My first aid. I think I want that to be honest. I think it takes like mouldy bread and stuff like that. We'll take the wrench. We're gonna take the wrench. Do you have any other jobs? Uh clear zombies 2.5 northwest. Why have you still got a level one? Okay, we're gonna take that one. It's miles away. Oh, it's one of the business strips. We won't be doing it straight away. Um job done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Because we've just got that level 3 wrench, wherever it's gone. No, level 3 wrench. It's just me being a wombat. Right. Inventory will sell you the level 2 one. There we go. Got ourselves no, let the some door jukes. Hit you on your way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So here we go, guys. We're back in the winter Are biome, not the desert either. biome, because never we didn't want to be... We did that as a clear, so we didn't have so the um, 
White River supplies on us. So that has got us 4,000 XP, 560 Dukes, and nothing worth having here at all. That's worth 115 sell back to you. Oh, well, it looks like we'll be taking that and selling it straight back to you. You have a job for me. So you've got tier fours as well now. Okay. Um, southwest, west. Hmm. Okay, but we've still got tier ones. I, I really don't get this with the traders, why they're giving us tier fours and giving us tier ones. Um... Right, we're just gonna we're gonna take that it's just gonna be a little campsite and we'll quickly do that right let's quickly sell this book back to you um have we got anything oh level five junk turret we do have the money for that our junk turret at the moment level three hmm okay you restock tomorrow Chemistry station. See, they, they start selling it once we've already made it. Um, how much are you wanting for a thousand? A hundred? Well, it's a, it's a no-brainer. Absolute no-brainer. Five hundred? Yeah. How much are you wanting for the cement? Two hundred and twenty-five for three hundred. Hmm. We're gonna buy it, but it ain't. It isn't the best deal in the world. Um, no, no, it's fine. Storage pocket mod, improved fittings, secret stash. What have you got here? Wheel, anvil schematic. We've already got an anvil. Structural brace mod. Now that would be useful. I, do we have anything spare to put it on? No, we don't. We will at some point, but um Are we done here? We'll find that. We did open your Yeah, we opened your gun safe. Good stuff, right. That's where I'm gonna leave this one here then. We're just gonna head back to the base. Get ourselves ready for a full day of questing tomorrow. Um Put in the comments down below whether you think that that hole that we put in onto the base at the beginning of the game is going to work. I'm a little bit worried about that. Hopefully the dogs will not be able to jump through it. Um, but as always, big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it. Um, we'll catch up with you for hopefully not hopefully not unlucky day 13 tomorrow. And... Um, See you guys next time. Take it easy.